wish these bitches would stop hating If it's possible, I might be coming immune to boobies. What a load of BS! Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. Listen, uh, can I stop by? That doesn't look like much. I, I Man, security looks guns. light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking hey, about, Frank? Um, oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground. It's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dog, Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Clockwork, Mikey. Like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, 
mentioned a uh, job before. Something I could help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the... Clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fuck! Shit! I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Thirteen thirty. We're an hour down, two to go. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. If you want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. What you think? 
victim. I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too...
All right, holla him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. 
despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no? sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job, and then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! Let me... Let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead! You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! <laughs> ah, great! You. Hey, come on, where you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back at my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no, no, it's clear and reason thought, finally! Stop your car, come on, come back, we'll talk. Oh, I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car, turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Shit! Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davey! Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? Think! Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. Does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit! Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Hello. Yeah, can you send out a cab to me? Of course. Driver should be with you soon. Appreciate it. Oh, 
please. I'm so fat. Really? You think so? I still want to drop some weight, you know? Oh, sure. Okay. Call me this weekend. Ciao. I'm DJing on Friday. That's the truth. So, where do you want to go? Okay, buddy, there you go. When Bruce paid the road to Cuba from Nice last year, hey, man. I was hiding Hello! in his Santa note trunk. Fuck off! Adios, airline flight 297 now. This place is so fake, man. Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos, start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody pay attention, no one gets hurt. Trust me, darling, look at me. Amanda, it was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton, nice guy, realist. He gets the glory. I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. Some depot out of town you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is going to go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The thing is blown. Just this one job, and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. You're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? It comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. <laughs> There's nothing there! <sighs> This is it. Moment of truth. Is it 
if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! Ah! Fuck! Fuck! Joe Phillips! Mr. Joe has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it doing? How's it doing? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Come out! Who are your friends, T? Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. 
My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County, but your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover. Yeah, right. That's a tough break. I never want to double cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. It's me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. The time together. Very important. I have to go. Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Trevor! Oh, I miss you. All you boys. Miss you too. Yeah. 
Lamar Davis. What's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still in team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. Gangsters move! He waiting at the garage. The boost, homie. How did it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Line it up on the truck. Final piece of the puzzle. That's teamwork, motherfuckers. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There were no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. 
Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. A lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard, apart from hobo. Uh, maybe tired with hobo. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get up. The dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Aw, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, he's repulsive, but... Well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Ah! Oh, shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. What time was on the ride? What you gonna do, old fearless leader? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. They must have waited till we was out of town. Yeah, it looks like it, don't it?
Dispatch, I have a suspect 20. You brought the cops right to us, dog. Maybe you should have done the post. Mr. CEO, get on the scene. Um, this is your problem, CEO. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, precious cargo! Remember, take the load for the vehicles. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm, we got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost them. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. The lawyer ticks up at the Procopio truck stop. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right?
there's a car right here. We are free. We're bringing an end to the patriarchy. We are women. You are free. We are women. You are shout. We are women. We have no doubt. We are women. We are free. We are Shut free. the are fuck free. up. Thank you. Oh, my N word, huh? What What's up, up homie? Huh? Oh. Ah. Oh. What a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Uh, really? Man. Oh, no. What? Oh, so what? It's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so... Let's hug it out. Mm-hmm. Nah! Nah! Right? You're so fucking funny, gotcha! Yeah. Oh! Fuck! No, I'm not funny! Fucking asshole! Oh! Fuck! I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you alright? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have. I would have just look, look, fucking look, look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael, fuck Michael. I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before, but what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped. Yeah, and now it looks like they holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? 
Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew because of Trev. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you, he ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot. You're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to coin every favor yeah. I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him. Hey, Chapter hey. Phillips isn't oh. coming. Whoa, 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 No, hey, hey, hey! Where's your humanity? Uh. <clears throat> the ways to book
你想见血吗？啊！ Of his shit. Yeah. Woo. Back there on that meat hook, I thought it was over. When the dude had the knife on me, man, I thought the same thing. Frank, thank you, bro. Yeah, bro, of course I did. If this shit means anything, shit, the second I knew. Hey, how'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app that tracked your sales signal. Ah, Lester. How'd you even know I could... Watch out. You know I got snatched up. Trevor told me. Kind of. I asked him what he knew about you disappearing in North Yankee. Yeah, I bet he wasn't that forthcoming, was he? The way he told me in the end, I'd they pinch you anyway. Oh, shit. We're up there, and Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up. They take me, he fucks up. For real? Too real. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin West? West? What about it? We delivered the last of them cars. Only he ain't paid us yet. Says he gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? Look, Franklin, you're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over you. What? Leverage over your deal. For real? Come on, Franklin. I had my feet chained to a meat hook for the last few hours. Give me some time, I'll figure it out, I promise. Yeah, whatever. See ya. Show. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Uh, uh, man, before all that, I'm talking about the feds. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right. Look. I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <clears throat> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, 
and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. Almost a car, amigo. You do business? Uh. That's on you, dick one! How you like me now? Hello? I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything! Ah, uh, you're throwing me softballs. A rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents, those guys... Had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? 
My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the Bureau. Parking garage entrance.
So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, no, no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. Found a guy about to clock off. Uh, got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. He should be coming out here soon. That's it? That's not it. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ooh, what's this? This is not the car we're looking for. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Something's coming. Uh, not our guy. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. That's the one. You know the drill. Couple of car lengths. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Hmm, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Take the next right. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now, let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Hello? Hey! He's gone left there, you see? He's taking the next left.
He's pulling up. Park down the block. Solid, what's cracking? Nothing. Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. Hey, man, I don't need to trust that cable connection coming along. Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. How you doing, Oof? Totally. Come over anytime after seven. This homebrew will kick your little ass. I promise. It's a raw vegetable app, a raw vegetable entree, and some kind of vegetable dessert. You got another one of those, Harvey? Well, who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. He'll fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him, take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dog. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip. Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Sending one out right now. Okay, thanks for your help. Lo juro, voy para allá. Hey, my man, where are you? 
you going? All right, brother, here we are. Hey. What? But. <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things. And then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now. And I don't know what to do, except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay. So that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So. Lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean... Not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way. I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Panic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows? They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. There they are, outside. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. Guess we better walk up to him. No caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less 
lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two, a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what, what are you ah, ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say to you. I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you and you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation someone shut up i guess we could try all i'm asking for is a shot neutral ground dr friedlander's office it's perfect all of us i'll pick up tracy and bring her there meet you fine all right you Come on, get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No, no yoga. Uh, All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Now, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Here's the tattoo the shop. Why met this girl dude? last night? She was like, hey, wow, sexy. you're actually kind of trade. surprised. Whatever, dude. I'm looking for something hip that... You know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Uh, yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, if you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. <laughs> Come on! Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah! 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 Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh, my God. Uh, Papa Bear, what's Daddy Number Two going to think about this? Uh, let's not get him involved. Uh, let's do... I always thought tramp stamps could be classy. Mm. Uh, she's a fucking hearts. Don't fucking squirm! How about I draw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? There we go. 
Nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Oh, too nice fuck this. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. Oh, no, that's my that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ever a family that needs therapy? My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your Sully's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine back. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Your well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good, not an objective universal good. But like a subjective, what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and... The both of your children, you kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center. 
before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right, I'm deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh, but... Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so are you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we got to work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or Dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our death, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor? There's no explaining, Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No! No! Jeez! Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers. Or other women. Yeah, Dad! Gross! You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Hey, Mike, it's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site.
Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw-up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. and Pillbox Hill, ambulance en route, suspects flee in the STD construction site. Pendejo! You must want a black eye! that all the married ones are taken. How are you? Look at all these lazy motherfuckers. No wonder all our shit is made in China. Greg. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless-ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. What about the other way? With the, uh, ninja skills? 
Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Now your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want to mop. Okay, well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. After what I saw this guy do to two dozen bad cops and a half a ton of armor, I'd take him anywhere. Ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> and we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger... I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? 
videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly, namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Get to the airport, talk to him. That's it. Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my move. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. Attention, the person requesting a VIP escort for Miss Molly Show. Destination is the East Hangar at Los Santos International.
suspect westbound near um Los Santos Report, a reckless driver in uh, South Los Santos International Airport. I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Let's go. Fuck. Start up, you piece of shit. Come on. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. Almost a car, amigo. This is Tracy DeSanta. Hello, this
this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. Fine, I'll call someone who can help. You'll be fine. Lester, we got a fire truck parked around the back of your place. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay?
Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. La Mesa. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Hey, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. You'll have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well... Under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. Link up with Packy and Gus, get the fire truck. And be All right, them dudes is pros, so this should go kind of smooth, right? If you're new, just clear your pass with security, and you can go up. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up.
Dirty mop. You know you stay too late when the mopping dead show up. They don't work so hard. We're all leaving in a minute. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building.
Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Hey, look, everybody cool, right? Because once we pick him up, it's all go, all right? I'm ready for anything. Citizens report a fire in, uh, Southern Chamberlain Hill. All right, trigger the fire bombs, Frank. I'll get my turnout gear on. Distant air unit from Mission Row. Hijack the emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. Pull up over here. All right, let's get in there. Painkillers, all that loose notory weed at the time. Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. We take these up six stories. Server rooms on 53. Not much further. Let's march it. Get out of here! What you screwing with me? 
Torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is gonna know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm gonna get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit. Shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. Haha, <laughs> you're right. So, uh, Take us to our get-out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? What were we thinking? Stashing it so far. Be careful!
man, sorry about that. Lot better. Ah! Take us to Lester's. Well, now that we're in the clear, I can probably tell you people, I didn't think we were gonna make it out of there. But you planned the thing, right? Yeah, I chose the best of two impossible options. We had to sell them that we were firemen to start with. That's a pretty crazy task. And that's just to get the opportunity to have a high rise fall down on us? Yeah, well, thank you kindly for being so upfront with us on how dangerous this motherfucker was. We made it, didn't we? Whole crew's intact. We're charmed, boys. We're charmed, or we're really good at this shit. <laughs> we're all professionals, know what I'm saying? Scores are easy when you ain't got to depend on no wannabes. Nice work. Charmed? Yeah, that's about right. Michael DeSanta, Franklin Clinton, Gustavo Moda, and Patrick McGreary. When people are talking about the time guys went into the bureau and wiped their files, man, those will be the names, the rumors. This one will go down in the ages. Yeah, man, I'm just glad this shit is over. I don't want to do nothing else for them fools no more. Nor do I, bro. I got to swing that. Hey, you got to swing some with Trevor, too. You should reach out, homie. All right. I'm out of here. <laughs> well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! Ah! Ah! Fucking A Ray, we oh. did it! Ah! Ow. How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, give me oh. some of that! Hey. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm Ooh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> Man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick Wild. For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. 
From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Can you get a cab here as soon as possible? Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Thank you. Let's go now! Oh shit! No fucking way! Jeez, fucking hell! Fuck that shit! Yeah, look at that piece of shit! No! Where you headed, homie? Hey, we're here. Ah, see? Davy, that's why we're such great friends, huh? So we're old school, we like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know, you tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said, and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, come whoa. on, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? 
Because? Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No! Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit. Mike, this your frequency. I ain't going anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. Okay, hold it well. Nice. You gotta head to the stairs at the other end of the complex. What happened to Haynes? Did he get caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Haynes. Haynes went the other way. He's probably out. We gotta think of ourselves. <laughs> Am I wrong? Or did the Shadow War just step into the light? Okay, I'm going down. We meet in the courtyard. Fuck! You're gonna die, shit! Kill you, old friend! It's gonna be me! Oh! You here to finish the job, T? No, 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 no. I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad, and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. It looks like there's a window. D, run for that stone bench by the pool. I'll come join you. So long, Dave's calling's on the way. The longer you take, the longer I gotta wait to kill you. Oh. So tell me, Davey, who are these bureau men trying to kill me? Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. They'll be bringing bodies out of here by the truckload. I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. They didn't mention this shit in the guidebook. Oh my god. How many paid soldiers these guys got? Look out! Up there! other already. You've got to go across the walkway to the other side of the complex to get down. What are Merriweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're going to get off it. Leave me alone! Okay? I'm between the fountain and the reflecting pool. Come on!
not cool! Smoking, huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor, Listen, I've been meaning to... Uh, you know, I've been meaning to... I've been meaning to tell you, you know, I've been... What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what the fuck, fuck did you come day? back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell, and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. Suppose the group hugs out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty. Depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah.
Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying the price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Fuck. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? Uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. Then I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man.
You seen Lamar yet? No, no sign of him. Just guys wearing mauve. Lamar! Lamar! He runs away from the fight, I run towards it. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left, there's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way. I'm meeting them head on. Direct assault. All right, my turn to move. All right, I'm at the spot. When the time comes, I'll do what I can from up here. We might stand a better chance if we come at them from two angles. Maybe. You want to stay close? I don't blame you. Let's go find the dude. I'll take out whoever I can. Lamar's way. Hey, brother, come on. Give us the mousy one, and we'll be gone! Lamar Davis wins! Where's Lamar at, kid? Where you got LD? Lamar! Where's he at? You got a friend of ours! Bring out Lamar! We'll go away! Chamberlain gangster families for life, motherfuckers! Where's the tall dude? This! Hold tight! I might be able to get a shot! Lamar! Hey, Lamar! Let's go before they turn you into wood chip. Oh, crazy dude! Hey, homie! Yeah, 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 get up! Let's go! There's more of them coming! A lot more! Hey, guys, come on! Oh, Frank's here too! Hey, Frank! You thought he came by himself? Come on, man! I was literally like just about to turn the table on this motherfucker. There's a bunch of more dudes coming now! Hey, let's stay this side where Michael can cover! We'll take Lamar, but we'll leave you the weed. You got another guy hiding up there? Hey, dog, I'm all right. Man, my head kind of hurts. Cut your losses. Let us go. You should have... Run for it. You ain't got nowhere to go. 
getting out of here! I'm gonna take them all! Alright, I'm going too! Bye, thanks! Is we ever gonna get a proper introduction, dog? I can take care of myself! Go! T, call me, dog! I'm gonna come up to the unicorn to get horny on your office supply! Shit, homie, you all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got the jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't been let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the missing. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Fuck, man. 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the... We flying now! Sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you called it? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called him, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? All right, all right, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You 
should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if he had fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean... Thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture, oh me. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass nigga. 